Hey there, you filthy animals. Mr. Dirty back with another episode of the GTM Show. And today, we've got a box of stuff from Sonic Drive-In. If you're not familiar, it's like the old A&W where you kind of pull up, you order right there at like a kiosk type thing. And the car hops come out on skates and serve your food right in the car. There's no eating in in any of these places that I've ever seen. But uh, right now they've got the little doggies. They're like these miniature hot dogs, like a four inch hot dog. And basically got like the basic spread that they normally have for their coney dogs, the footlongs and the regulars, but just miniature versions of these. And we haven't had them on the show, so we're just gonna like barrel right through. And as we're sitting in the drive through ordering these, we notice on the marquee, they have little chickies. Little chicken versions of the exact same thing. So we've got a few of those. Um, we didn't get like the plain hot dog or the plain chicken one. We went for the more exotic flavors. So uh, I'm just going to grab one real quick and see what we got. Alright, so it looks like the first one we're going to be dealing with here is the miniature version of their chili cheese coney dog. As far as their chili cheese dogs, I think they're probably the best on the market. Um, I would give the regular footlong chili cheese coney dog 5 out of 5. This one here, with a price point of $1.50, and I'm going to hit this one time, make sure that they haven't changed the flavor or anything like that. They don't have special flavored buns for these. And then we're going to compare. Here we go. The uh, little doggy chili cheese bite. Classic. The exact same flavor as the big one, but yeah, it's real small. I think a price on a regular one is like two dollars, the foot long is like four dollars. This one's a buck fifty for, I'm gonna call this a half a hot dog. So it's awesome, everything is great about this except for the price point of a buck fifty. So I'm gonna actually drop the rating down for the little one to a four out of five just for price point. But still, flavor is fantastic on that. You dip back in here and see what else we got. All right, this time around, we've got a little chicky, and yeah, this is going to be the buffalo flavored little chicky. And it looks like it's on the exact same hot dog bun that we saw with the other ones, but they've got like one of their chicken tenders just laid in there, and then they squirt the buffalo sauce right across the top. I don't believe I've ever had Sonic's buffalo sauce, so this will be a new for me as far as taste-wise going. I already know their chicken tenders are not bad at all. So, here we go. Now, the chicken tender itself, kind of dry, and the buffalo sauce that on, that's on there is like, um, it's not hot or anything like that. It's kind of like a stinky buffalo sauce, if any of you know what I mean. Sometimes you get like a real nice, tangy, crisp barbecue sauce, and then other times... It's kind of got like a surly, kind of stank flavor going on. And that's the kind of buffalo sauce they've chosen to go with on this. Not a whole lot of wow factor here. So, I don't know. Pretty mediocre. I'm going to give this 3 out of 5. Alright, bombing back into here. And, uh, okay. This one's going to be another little chicky. And this one comes with a barbecue sauce. It's basically the same thing, okay? There's your chicken tender, your hot dog bun. Only this time we've got the addition of pickles. And as you can clearly see, a barbecue sauce squirted inside of there. I have no idea, once again, what kind of barbecue sauce they're going with on this. I don't know if it's the same kind of barbecue sauce that they would give you in like a little plastic to-go container. Or if they purchased some other kind in a squirty bottle. No idea. But here we go, the uh, barbecue flavored little chicky with pickles. With the pickles, that is absolute sh**. Totally ruined the whole thing. I don't know why either, because uh, pickles work just fine on a Chick-fil-A sandwich, but the barbecue sauce and the pickle on this, man, that's atrocious. I'm going to hit it one more time so I can get a taste for the barbecue sauce with just the chicken and keep this pickle out of the deal right here. Hold it back with my finger. Give it another go. Okay, there we go. Okay. The barbecue sauce that they've gone with on that is, um, as you saw, it's a darker barbecue sauce. It's a little bit of sweet, a little bit of smoky, and yeah, I believe that is the exact same barbecue sauce that they give you in the little tubs with the peel-back foil lid. 
same stuff. Not exactly like a real tangy kind of barbecue. It's got more of like that smoky flavor to it. Not bad. You take the pickles off of that, it's pretty good. I would say it's it, like once again holding it back from the price point of a buck fifty on that should be more like a dollar. If you don't have the pickles on there, then it's kind of mediocre type of deal, just barbecue chicken on bread, three out of five kind of stuff. But yeah, the addition of those pickles on there though, that's nasty, and that's what gives it its final rating of two out of five. Because that's the way it comes, right on the menu, in the picture. Just Moving on to the last one that we're going to do. This is the disappearing little doggy. It's only here for one day today, uh, January 8th. And this one is the cheese fry little doggy. And... Um, I'm not quite sure guys, there's uh, no hot dog in there at all, just cheese fries on an empty bun. I'm pretty sure this was supposed to have a hot dog in it. Poor. This is absolutely f***ing ridiculous. $1.50 to have like a, a pinch of cheese fries just slapped into a hot dog bun? Come the f*** on. I mean, what the f***, man? Is it called the disappearing doggy because the doggy itself disappeared before I even got it? That's messed up, man. Right off the bat, I'm going to say I can honestly see why this is here for one day and one day only if they're not putting actual hot dogs on here. And it's just fries and bread. Then go fuck yourself. Jesus Christ. Where's the f***ing hot dog, man? It's an absolute waste of money and anybody's f***ing time. One out of five. Don't even bother with this piece of crap. So there you have it. You can try three out of four of those yourself. The Disappearing Dog. Since you're going to be seeing this after the day that it was actually out and gone, you didn't miss anything, honestly. Let us know what you think of all this stuff if you've had it. Let me know down in the comment section. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Real Mr. Dirty. And as always, get out of here and go have a rotten day.